and the next. In the dirt to the backstop, here comes Hill. Hill score. one nothing Cubs, Daniel to third. The Seminole comes set at the letters. 3-2 fastball, hit up the middle. Shortstop Lantigua has it. Throws to first out, but Clayton Daniel scores from third. Nelson Velasquez. High with a fastball, snap, throw to third. It gets away down the left field line. All donations are appreciated. Weber scores from third, 3-0 South Bend. Supporting their reliever. Rotorer smokes one to deep right field. Look out, video board, you're going to get hit. That ball is gone. Adios, two-run home run, Rotorer. Lefty to lefty, here's the first pitch. Crank down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble. It's a base hit off the wall. Palaco will score. Weber sprinting in the second. He's got an RBI double. 6-0 South Bend. Make that 59 RBIs this year for Weber. Now, if the Cubs win, it's not much of a problem. As Slaughter blasts one in the air towards deep left, back moving Kerwer at the wall, gone! Jake Slaughter, first home run in the Midwest League. It's a long drive over the left field wall. Cubs lead 7-0. This is empty, two outs, and a fastball, hammer to the right field, adios! A two home run game in front of the family. Look at the celebration by Dad. He is fired up, and why not? <laughs> and Cole blows the family a little smooch, a little kiss. He's reached base twice. And a slider hit to third, Mejia bare hands, throws to first. Out, and that's a South Bend Cubs winner. The Cubs' magic number for clinching the wild card is down to seven with 11 games to go, and the Cubs will go for the sweep tomorrow against Lansing, and they hold a, a four-game wild card lead over the Lugnuts, and the final meeting between the two teams in the regular season is tomorrow night at 7.35.